we find something on a patient's mammogram, it sort of depends on the setting. If they're a screening patient and they weren't having any problems and they came to the facility, had their mammogram and left, which is some, some of our patients, then we would probably end up notifying their referring physician and them that there was an abnormality seen on their mammogram and that we want to do some extra pictures. So we would bring them back. Um, some of the patients want to stay and get the results and that's an option too. So if they came for a screening and we saw something on the screening while they were there, we would do, a lot of times we'll do extra mammogram pictures, sometimes we'll do ultrasound. So we would, we would want to work up what we see on the mammogram to determine is it a real finding. If we determine that it is a real finding, there's still a good chance it's not going to be cancer. There's lots of other things that can cause problems on the mammogram. One of the more common things is fibrocystic breast condition, which lots of women have, and that can form lumps and it can form things that we, you know, we need to work up, but a lot of times those will turn out to be benign. But if we think it's going to be cancer, which sometimes we can tell this is pretty suspicious and it's going to be highly likely to be cancer, I do usually try to give the patient some idea that I'm pretty worried about this and that the next step is going to be to do a biopsy. So the patients are usually informed in person. We'll sit down with them and go over their pictures and then tell them that, you know, the next step is to find out what going on there and then if it is cancer the next step after that would be to be a, to see a surgeon so but because a lot of times probably 80 percent of the people we do biopsies on don't have cancer you know we, we just tell them that you know we need to do the biopsy then once we know what's going on we can direct them to the next step